Hello everybody, this is Dr. Cole. It's early Monday morning, October 10th. We're now entering week 8 for Political Science 1013 for the fall term on the 16-week schedule. Everybody, Quiz 4 is underway. You can take it any time between now and midnight. We have two things to look at related to the Constitution. We have an article about free speech consisting of an interview with the former president of the ACLU, Nadine Strossen. And you have the article by Daniel Allen, The Flawed Genius of the Constitution. So, expect 10 two false items on those two articles. And that can be taken uh, any time between now and midnight tonight. That's available. And there's a link to it under Unit 4 in the Modules area of the course website under Unit 4. Now, everybody, at the end of the day, or early tomorrow morning, once the quiz is over, I will get an announcement out about the midterm exam, which you should be aware already uh, will be this Friday and Saturday, the 14th and 15th. Okay, It will cover units 1, 2, 3, and 4, the class notes for units 1, 2, 3, and 4. 10 or 15 of the items from quizzes 1, 2, 3, and 4 may be repeated, so expect some of those items to be repeated. Look at those readings once again and be prepared for some of those items to be re repeated on the exam. But the majority of it will be based upon the class notes for units 1, 2, 3, and 4. I hope the quizzes will have given you some idea of the degree of difficulty you can expect from the items on the exam. Okay, 50, two false and multiple choice questions, and that will be available to you. 48 hours. Uh, this Friday and Saturday, the 14th, 15th, and that will, that will wind it up for the first half of the course. Okay. Of course, we've been working, winding up a very lengthy unit on the Constitution. Once again, four textbook chapters were assigned. Of those four, Chapter 2 perhaps is the most important. Chapters 3, 4, and 5, we discussed that subject matter briefly in the class notes for Unit 4. Please look at, as carefully as you can at the two Federalist Papers, the texts of which are found in the appendix of the textbook. And there's some discussion of those two Federalist Papers, numbers 10 and 51 by James Madison. There's a summary of them in the class notes themselves. Okay, so look at that material to give you some idea of what you can expect to be reading about. When you look at Federalist Papers, numbers 10 and 51 by Madison, in the appendix to your textbook. Going over that Constitution unit again very briefly, what we try to do is go over the, the events leading to the adoption of the Constitution, uh, going over the ideas behind it, consisting primarily of what's discussed in the Federalist Papers. We look at some of the specifics of the Constitution, especially the original seven articles, the Bill of Rights, and the amendments adopted after the Civil War, especially the 14th Amendment. We also briefly discuss the 25th Amendment. Then we wind that unit up by discussing the matters are, that are discussed in chapters 3, 4, and 5, Civil Rights and Civil Liberties and Federalism. Okay, that will do it then for the material for the midterm exam. Look at the class notes for units 1, 2, 3, and 4. Expect some items from quizzes 1, 2, 3, and 4 to be repeated. 50 items, you have 45 minutes to take the exam. You can take it any time this Friday and Saturday, the 14th and 15th. So we wish you good luck on the quiz, quiz number four and the midterm exam. Contact me in case of any problems, issues, or questions through the course website or at david.cole at OPSU. Good luck on the quiz and the exam. Uh, study hard, take it easy. We'll talk to you once again uh, about a week from now this time. We'll be embarking on the second half of the course. Thank you very much.